Hey there, this is Michael Rager with Teach Your Business to Fish, and this is... Cameron Rager with, te with Teach Your Business to Fish. Well, Cameron, you had a day off from school today, so we thought we'd do a little video and try to help some of my clients out. So, I heard you have a few questions for me. You want to ask a few? Okay. Okay, let's go with number three. Why did you start the company exactly? Why did I start Teach Your Business to Fish? Well, the reason I started Teach Your Business to Fish was when you were a young baby, I used to work in the oil and gas business, and I was never home. There's actually times out of the month, I'm only be home three or four days a month. And when I'd come home and see you, you'd actually be mad at me. I know, just little babies and you'd be mad at me. So like a lot of people, I started a company because I wanted to be able to have some what we call freedom. I wanted to be able to do what I wanted to do. And I wanted to be able to spend some time with you and you know do some things. And so I decided to start a company that brought together two of my passions. And what are, what are my two big passions? Fishing and business. Fishing and business. So what I do with teaching business to fish is I use a lot of fishing analogies. And fishing analogies are stories. And stories that would help me tell, you know, I tell stories to my clients to help them understand the things we're trying to teach them. And, you know, it's easier to learn when you hear stories, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so if we talk about fishing, I relate it to business and my, my clients seem to get a good, good grasp of what we're trying to do. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes quite quite the great the greatest sense I've ever heard. Thanks. How? Okay. Next question. Sure. What is the main strategy you use to help businesses build up? What is the main strategy I use to help businesses build up? I primarily use two strategies. Okay, for two different types of clients. The first one's a startup company. You know what a startup company is? No, not exactly. A startup company is a brand new company, so they're just building up. They're just getting ready to go and they need to find new clients. And so what we do is we use we do something called marketing and advertising. So why don't you move over here by me so you can see, so everybody can see you at home. But when we start with marketing and advertising, it helps them bring new clients in. So if you own a restaurant, it helps people come on in and see you and eat. And if you, if you own a retail store and sell toys, it brings people come in to actually help them buy your toys and everything that you make. So we wanna help them get customers because if they get customers, they can make money. The second is, is I really want to work with strat with uh, finances. So businesses that have been around for a while, we like to work about strat worry about finance. See, Daddy can't even talk today. So when we worry about finance, it lets them know that they're making enough money because it's important to make money, isn't it? And I hate to go use something called gross profit margin. And gross profit margin, if a business owner understands that, they'll be able to go ahead and they'll make good business decisions and they'll always make money if they follow their gross profit margin to make decisions based on that. How's that for an answer? Good one? Yeah, that's a pretty good one. Well, thanks, bud. Okay. You got one more? Yeah, I got one more on my list. All right. What's the main responsibility of, of teach your business to fish? The main responsibility, the main responsibility of my company is to help my clients build a strategy and then hold them accountable. So building a strategy is there's long-term Long-term and short-term strategies. You know, long-term strategies are what we want to get in the, the long term. What do we what do we want at the end of our company? And short-term strategies are what are we going to do to make us get there? And then what I do is I hold them accountable. And accountable means that they're going to do what they say they're going to do. And, you know, when Daddy tells you, hey, Cameron, I thought you told me you were going to do that. And then you didn't do it. Mm. I've done that, haven't I? Yes. We can all be very forgettable. Yeah, we can be forgettable. But when you're in a business, you're trying to make money and you got to support your family and you got a lot of things to do. So what we do is we help them become accountable and we help them follow their strategy. So does that make sense? That makes perfect sense. Well, thanks, buddy. Well, we want to help our clients become what we call a real success. So go out there today and make it a great day and be... Awesome! Thanks. This is Michael Rager with Teach Your Business to Fish and... Cameron Rager with Teach... Teach your business to fish. See you next time.